I'm Jennifer Ouellette, and I'm the author of a new book, Me, Myself, and Why, Searching for the Science of Cell. And I'm here to just tell you a few of the surprising things that I learned about what makes us who we are. Number one, it's nature and nurture, not one or the other. It's genes working with the environment that shapes who we are. Number two, a brain scan might not be able to tell if you're lying, but it can tell you if your sinuses are clear. Number three, being shy and being introverted are not the same thing. Being introverted is not about being socially awkward or anxious. It has to do with whether you gain or lose energy from social encounters. Number four, romantic rejection can drive a male fruit fly to drink, and in that respect, they're very much like humans. Number five, in a virtual world, your avatar can look like whatever you want. And if you choose to, say, be a lobster, your brain can figure out how to move those extra limbs even if your physical body doesn't have them. Number six, gender isn't just about boys and girls. It's more of a continuum rather than a binary. It's a mix and match kind of thing. Number seven, it's really hard to take handwritten notes while you're tripping on acid. Number eight, the nematode has a proto-self, and if you want to know more about what that means, buy the book. Number nine, we are the stories we tell. If you really want to know who I am, let me tell you a story. Finally, number ten, the self is complicated. I know that seems very obvious, but the most important thing I learned while writing this book is that it's not about finding the answer or finding an easy answer. It's about embracing the nuance and the complexity and really appreciating everything that goes into making us the people that we are.